Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome everybody to the full Easter egg guide for Marager Tote. And this is going to take you from the start of the map to the boss fight, showing you everything in between. So without further ado, let's get into step one. Also, as a side note, sometimes Treyarch does update the steps. So make sure before you go any farther, check the top comment in the description. I'm going to pin a comment if there are any more updates to this guide that are changed or updated from when the time I'm making this video. So check that top comment. If there's nothing there, you're good to go. Let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do in this Easter egg is actually build Klaus. He is required in order to get the free wonder weapon, but he's going to be required for many things on this map anyway. And also he's just hilarious and fun to use in general. So the first step to actually getting him is going into these areas with the guard towers and you're going to start digging up all these things. You don't need a shovel. You'll just be able to dig them right off the start. And after digging a few of them, and it's just kind of random, you just have to keep on digging until you get it. Uh, check back every couple rounds if you don't get it initially, but eventually you will get this part straight out of the ground and put it in your inventory that is the satellite part and this one actually goes specifically on this red klaus station which is not actually where klaus spawns but it's just kind of like something that's in auxiliary to him in the specific area so go ahead and take that satellite part put it there and then the next two parts you're actually going to put on klaus himself so for the battery part, it is super, super simple. All you need to do is go to round 10 and then the very first Panzer that spawns, if you kill it, he will go ahead and drop the battery on the floor. Make sure you remember where you kill him. Go over, pick up the part from where you killed him. That is the battery part done and dusted. So to get the metal hands, you need to go ahead and get turned on your gun on the pack-a-punch machine. Reminder, you don't even have to pack-a-punch your gun in order to get turned. You can literally get a fresh gun with turned on it. Take it to room 305 in the apartment building, and then you're going to see this little kind of wooded up wall, hole-in-the-wall side area. Turn a zombie. The zombie will run over, break it down, open it up, and that will reveal not only the safe, which we're going to be using a little bit later on, but go ahead and grab the hands off of Klaus's little victim here, and you're going to be able to take those back to Klaus. So for the next step, you are going to need the Cerberus Wonder Weapon. You can either get it from Trials, the Mystery Box, or get it the Guaranteed Way. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Guaranteed Way real quick because it's very, very easy to do, and it's much, much less reliant on random luck than the other two are. So let's go ahead and get the Cerberus. So for the Blacklight, all you need to do is call in Klaus. So whenever you do this, you're going to get an equipment that allows you to basically program and tell Klaus where to go. You're going to go to this room, which is actually very, very close to the original location where you put all the parts together and build him completely completely and you're going to go ahead and send him right in front of this locker with a big o on top he's going to open it up and it is going to give you a black light in which you can actually change using up on the d-pad or five on the keyboard and you're going to be able to go to a black light which is going to reveal special things for the next step all right so once you get the actual black light you're going to go to each of these three locations and you're going to find these numbers they're always in the same spot these numbers on the wall are always in the same spot but these numbers are not. There's going to look around the room and you're going to find there are mine in my game. But you're basically going to look around this room and you're going to shine it on all the walls until you find your numbers. They're going to light up only with the black light. Make sure your black light is on. Make sure you press five on the keyboard to turn it on or up on the D-pad to turn it on. And you're going to find the numbers. So my number one dial is 10. All right, so here we go. You need to find number two and boom. You're going to find the spot on the wall where it's going to tell you a number, 03. So for the number two dial, that's going to be 03 right there. So for number three, you want to come in here, scan the walls. Number three is 18. You look for the spot on the wall where it shows up. So dial number three is number 18. So once you have all of the numbers you need, head back to the same room where you got the hands from Klaus's victim here, and there's going to be a safe in the corner. So you're going to go ahead and get on the safe, start turning the dials, enter all three numbers that you have, and you will get your free Cerberus out of here, which is going to be needed for the Easter egg. So let's go ahead and get on with the rest of that Easter egg. So the first thing you need to do whenever you have Klaus built and you already have the Cerberus is you need to go ahead and call him in again and take him over to this wall in which he will be able to punch it down and reveal a glass wall hiding behind that wall. Now, in order to actually melt this wall, you need to get one of the Wonder Weapon upgrades, which is super easy. All you need to do is just keep killing zombies. Eventually, one will drop this little ice kind of beam laser type thing, and that will actually melt the glass behind Klaus and allow you to go into this special room. Once inside of there, you'll notice there is a special area where two different kind of red domes around them and all you need to do is just progress the rounds until these domes go away once you finish the previous round these domes will go away and the first thing right in the middle will allow you to grab all three of these little canisters grab it you're gonna have to hold f three times to grab each one because there are three of them and then the second thing you just need to shoot with the wonder weapon and it out pops this little i don't know what we would call it essence trap looking thing that is actually going to spawn in tempest 
Next up, you're going to need to find these three canisters around the map. They can basically spawn anywhere, but they are absolutely huge and they're glowing green. So it should be incredibly easy to find them. Just run around the map. And whenever you get to one, place one of the canisters in there and then throw this essence trap on the ground and out will spawn three different tempests now depending on how many players you have you might have to kill more you might have to get multiple essence traps again just go back down there shoot it with the wonder weapon and if there are any more available in the round you can keep on spawning them in but keep on killing tempest next to these you'll see the souls go in there until it is actually able to be picked up whenever you can pick it up you're gonna make a run there's gonna be tons of zombies spawning in so make sure you have armor make sure you have good guns and everything you're not gonna be able to sprint you have to basically slowly walk with this ethereum canister over to this little pedestal and you'll be able to go ahead and pick up another uh a little upgrade thing that spawns in tempest and you're going to basically repeat this process for three different ones around the map again they can spawn anywhere so just keep on running around if it's one that you haven't done before it will be bright gl glowing green keep on putting them down there keep on grabbing new traps and again if you're not getting any traps to spawn sh sh try shooting it with the wonder weapon and if that's not working you might just have to progress to the next round to keep on doing it but make sure you kill them close enough they will suck in the souls and once they are done you'll be able to bring it down so now you have all three and you're ready to go on to the next step so after this, you need to go ahead and upgrade Klaus. And the first step to doing this is just letting him get kills. And you'll know when he has enough kills and that this little machine right here that you put this little satellite dish on will turn green. So just keep spawning him in, letting him kill a bunch of zombies. And whenever it turns green, you know that you can call him in, spawn him in, and go ahead and direct him to go stand right in front of this machine. He will hop in it, and then you will have a 60-second lockdown, which you need to protect him. And whenever he's done, he will have a pack-a-punch weapon. He will be upgraded Klaus, and you're ready for the next one. So once he is upgraded, direct him over to these train tracks. He's going to stand on top of them. And if he is upgraded, he is going to say he's ready to stop a train. So whenever he is, he is in this little position, ready to stop it, go over to the side room and flip this lever. And then eventually, just wait for it, a train will come crashing in. He will actually stop the train. And you need to hop on and grab two different things. There will be some zombies. Grab the warhead, which is actually sitting in the middle of the train. And then you need to grab the ID card. Be careful because there's also a piece of intel in here that you can mistake for the ID card. Grab the ID card, grab the little warhead, and then you're going to take it down to the bottom area and you're going to insert the warhead into the three charged Ethereum canisters. So you're going to take the ID card that you just got down to this little computer next to Klaus, and you're going to be able to enter the ID card and browse the files, but you're not going to have the access you need, which means you need to get Klaus's headgear upgrade. First part to this, again, really easy. Just get the wonder weapon, go to the very, very rooftop in the spawn, shoot that big tower. You're going to be able to collect the part there. That is number one. Second one, go to the Radio Shack station, the electronics store. You're going to shoot all of these little radios until out pops the part. That is number two. Keep on shooting radios until it comes out. It'll take a few tries usually. And then the third part is down here in ghost station on the trade tracks shoot the third one again any wonder weapon variant you're going to get the third part right there take it over to klaus install it right on his forehead and he is now going to be able to access the files which is going to allow you to call down the satellite and go on to the next step of the easter egg so once Klaus has his headgear, you're going to go ahead and call him in, bring him over to this computer that you just put this ID card in, and you're going to go ahead and access the files again, and he's going to give you access to the satellite. Now, here's one computer here, and that is going to be activated. The second one is over here by the trial station, and the third one is all in the opposite side, and you're going to need to use two of these computers for the next step, but only worry about one right now. Whenever you activate this computer, be set up, because this is going to spawn in a bunch of bosses, a bunch of extra zombies, and I strongly recommend doing this at the end of the round and having one person actually hold the zombie that spawned in and is actually holding the round in because you're going to not want to be dealing with zombies during this because a five minute countdown is going to start as soon as you kill the second megaton and you're going to be able to pick up this radioactive material now it's going to slowly damage you over time make sure you pay attention to what button it tells you that you can press you can press to drop it and it's going to slowly damage you over time and you need to take it over to this little station right next to the trials machine now whenever you take it over there you're going to be able to craft this little uranium rocket thing and you're going to need to go to one of the two sides of the zip line. I went over to this right building first. It's going to attach to the top of the zip line. Run back, grab the second one very quickly, go over to this crafting station. Again, craft it, make a second one, and then go to the other building on the other side of the zip line. And if, if done correctly, and again, you only have five minutes to do this before your game literally ends and you die, both of these little Ethereum pieces will crash together and they will make another radioactive material. This one will not end your game, but again, it will damage you and you need to put it inside of the little podium at the very bottom. And you're going to need to go to the next round and hit another one of these. You can be, again, any of the one, any of the three that I showed you, you're going to need to do the exact same steps, but it's a little bit harder because these spawns are farther away. So you have farther to run and again you only have five minutes to do this it's pretty difficult especially if you're in the middle of a zombie round so again i would not recommend doing this but again 
put one on each end of the zip line. They will crash together. You're going to grab the uranium. And here we go. You are ready for boss fight. As soon as you put it in here, the boss fight is going to start. So again, be set up before doing this step. You can do the first one and not do the second one to not have the boss fight start. But whenever you do this, the boss fight is going to begin. Now let's talk about tips and tricks and how to actually beat this boss. So this boss has multiple phases. She's going to go around the map and she has a shield, which if not damaged for a few seconds is actually going to regenerate the shield. The wonder weapon is not the best weapon in the entire world for this boss fight, but it is, if you have it tier three, it is going to do decent damage to her. And obviously it's going to absolutely melt the zombie. So I recommend just getting a wonder weapon and leveling it up. But again, if you don't get a long range weapon, shotguns are not going to work very, very well on her. That is weapon wise what you want to get. Obviously your perks and everything like that. Here is the first of her attacks. It is going to be a needle storm that is going to delete your shield it literally its entire purpose is deleting your shield and obviously it does a lot of damage too but you want to absolutely dodge this attack this attack is absolutely devastating and you kind of have an opportunity in between each one of her phases whenever you damage her enough to actually leave and go do different things on the map you can go pack a punch real quick you can do everything but after a while she's going to teleport you back as soon as one of your teammates arrives as well she's going to teleport you back to the arena and you're going to start the next one as you can see i went ahead and I went to go build a death machine. I went to go repair my armor, all that stuff before I went up to her. But you know, she's going to go ahead and start the second phase eventually. And again, you're just going to repeat this around, except that she gains new attacks each time. At one point, she's going to gain an attack where she can actually heal off of zombies. She's going to spawn a bunch of zombies all around her, and you only have a limited amount of time to kill them before she actually absorbs their essence and she heals herself. So whenever she does this attack, you want to go ahead and obviously uh, kill those zombies before she does that. She's going to spawn in panzers. Obviously, there's going to be zombies, uh, different devotes and everything like that. All the different mini bosses are going to be out on the map, so try to survive again there's no time limit do not rush take your time but also just main make sure you're maintaining your armor until the last phase because of the last phase the last two phases rather she is going to get a brand new attack which is absolutely devastating and it can instantly end your game she will have a big warm-up you'll be able to tell audio wise that she is about to do the biggest attack ever and you need to break line of sight with her get underneath something get behind something do not have line of sight with her because when she does this blast it will one shot kill you from full health from full armor it will one shot kill you or if you have jug it'll put you into like last stand or whatever where you only have one hp left get out of her way when she's doing this attacks take your time there's no time limit and again just make sure she's not healing off of this the wonder weapon again pretty darn good for this boss fight i i recommend doing that unless you just do not have it you're playing this with multiple people get a long range gun before you go in make sure you have it tier three and everything like that but the boss fight is honestly pretty easy we beat it on our first attempt i beat it on my first attempt solo as well uh make sure you go all the way through and then at the very end you will have just very straightforward stuff to do we'll go over that now just in case once she dies, you will actually be able to just go ahead and press F on her. You will be able to capture her. You'll see a cutscene. Klaus will start walking the bomb. And the final thing you have to do before you actually beat this Easter egg is protect Klaus. Now, all the zombies ignore him. All the manglers, everything ignores him except for the red explodey boys. So make sure you stay alive and the red explodey boys don't go kill Klaus. I literally was just watching to see how this actually worked and... Plenty of zombies, plenty of different mini bosses ran right past him. It was only the red explodey boys that actually went for him. It's pretty hard to fail at this point, honestly. Maybe it's harder to fail in co-op, but again, just spray. It's They're all coming from the same direction. Really, really easy and protect Klaus. And if he gets it all the way to the end without dying, the cutscene will play. You have completed the Maurder Toten Easter egg. Congratulations, and you are done with the map. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. We're obviously going to be playing this a lot, going for round 100s, the whole kit and caboodle. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, my name is NoJ456. Love you all, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.